Hey y'all, what up, what up, what up? How y'all doing? Did y'all miss me? Did y'all miss me? So, I missed y'all, y'all. I missed y'all. So anyway, look. I got something to say before I go into this gym. Y'all, so, <clears throat> I'm going to tell y'all a story. And I share stuff with y'all that I think will help more than one person, right? So, everything that go on, I'm going to tell y'all all my business, right? But, some of the things that I experience, I be needing to tell y'all, right? Because it helps certain people. So, let me tell y'all a story about shrinking yourself. Today's message, don't shrink yourself to fit in, right? I know y'all heard me say this many a time, but <laughs> the Holy Spirit just showed me that this is something I'm still struggling with. So, look, y'all, the other day, I gave a friend a ride, right? So, his car is totaled, and he's dealing with the insurance company to get his car situated, right? To get it paid off so he can go get another car or whatever he's going to do. So, in the process, amen, hey, beautiful. Um, That's my little cousin, y'all. She's so pretty. Um, So, in the process, uh, in dealing with the insurance company, he calls and he asks me for a ride. He's like, um, can you give me a ride to go check on my mom? Now, his mom's older, y'all. And she just had hip surgery. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? What's wrong with her? Everything okay? Because y'all know I'm a healer. So I'm thinking about what essential oil I need to get to her, right? So she could feel better. Because this is what I do, y'all. And when I say I'm dealing with the essential oils, y'all, like I didn't, I went and got certified, okay, to help people. Because these essential oils, y'all, they're highly concentrated herbs. So all the herbs that y'all be doing in the teas and stuff, I got it in the oil form, right? And I've learned how to use them. Okay, so anyway, that's not what the story is about. So he asked me to give him a ride, and I'm like, okay, what's going on with your mom? You know, is she doing okay? She didn't have hip surgery. So I was worried maybe she got an infection or something like that, and I need to do a little essential oil mix to help with her infection, right? N no. That's not what it is. Because I already got her hooked up with the pain stuff. So he said, well, my uncle done moved in to help take care of her. And his old crack-headed drunk self, I be worried he's over there not doing what he's supposed to do, right? So I say, okay, let's go. So we go over to his mom's house. He in the in the room checking on his, on his mom. And I'm sitting in the front room, right? Letting him talk to his mom or whatever. And so the uncle's sitting there. Y'all, it's like... I don't know, maybe 12, 30 in the afternoon. Uncle is lit, <laughs> okay? When I say lit, y'all, I mean, he didn't already woke up. I, he had to get up at like 7 a.m. and start drinking. or I don't even know, but he was already lit. So I'm sitting there, we watching TV, and so the uncle's like, well, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good, how you doing? And he's like, I could be better. So y'all know me and my positive self. Yeah, but it could be worse too, right? And so he thinks about it. He's like, yeah, it could be worse. Right? So we go on and have a conversation, basically. And in this conversation, y'all, now keep in mind, uh, what is it? What's the saying? Uh, a drunk tongue speaks a sober mind, right? So keep this in mind because this man is drunk. So he gets to telling me basically where he feels like he fell off in life, right? He gets to telling me where um, he felt like he went wrong, right? And he was like, well, one thing that I did is I let other people tell me who I was and what I was doing wrong, right? So he basically told me that he got married. He married his wife. You know, he was all in love with this wife. He chased her and blah, 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 right? So it took him a while to court her. He finally court her. He finally get what he thought he wanted, right? Because she was beautiful and you know how these men do. Okay, so anyway, he get the wife he want, right? Marries her, 
five, six years into the uh, marriage, they start having problems. They start going through this. And she's one of those ones that she wasn't speaking life into him. She started telling him, oh, you ain't shit. And you don't do this. And you don't do that. And I do this. And I do that. Like, that's how it started going. So, she actually became verbally abusive. So, he was like, they argued all the time. Right? He said they argued all the time. Now, what I'm going I'm to tell y'all the story. And then I want y'all to kind of kind of hear or I'm, I'm going to point out what I was hearing. So, they argued all the time. And he started drinking more. Right? He started because he was trying to drown... This is what he said. He was trying to drown out her her mouth. <laughs> this is what he told me. I'm serious, y'all. He said he started drinking more because he started trying to drown out her mouth. His wife. That's just what he told me. So I said, okay, well, what was it, you know, that you really need to drown out? Was it the arguing? He said it was the stuff that she was saying about him. He was like, I knew she was full of shit, but I just didn't want to hear it. Okay, so are y'all following me? This is this man's wife that's telling him what he's not doing. Basically, it sounded like she was never satisfied in the situation, right? This is what it sounded like. So, in doing all this, so then he gets to this job. The job starts telling him, well, you need to do more of this. You need to do more of that. So long story short, y'all, the more people that he got around telling him what he needed to do and not recognizing what he was actually doing, the more he started slipping into depression. So this is why I say pay attention to who you're talking to, right? So his boss, now he was a he was in, in the warehouse or something and he became he got promoted all the way up to being a supervisor but let his boss tell it they needed to keep performing better right his team whatever goes on in the warehouse y'all i ain't never worked in the warehouse really not too much a couple of seasonal stuff but i don't know so anyway he's responsible for his crew his crew is the top performer but his boss was always telling him basically that they needed to perform more right so it was never enough then he went home to the wife and the wife basically was saying in so many words that he needed to perform more. It was never enough, right? So, long story short, this is where this man started drinking and getting high and doing all this because he was drowning out all this noise, right? So, he was like, so he kept talking to me. And so, in my mind, okay, because I'm not looking at this anymore from a worldly perspective. I'm looking at it from a spiritual perspective. In my mind, this is a confession, right? You have to confess your sins, right? So, this is a confession. So, my homeboy comes out the room, and he's, oh, shut up, old man. Quit talking to her. She don't want to hear your sob story, blah, 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 blah. And he get the fussing at him. And I'm sitting there looking like, this is exactly what this man has been talking about. He's been going through. So I'm like, no, he's cool. He's all right. You know, go ahead and keep, you know, dealing with your mom. But, you know, you need to hurry up because I got other stuff to do. This is what I tell him. So he's like, you always on the go. Go, 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 go. He's like, you need to slow down. And I'm like, you need to speed up. You slow, 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 slow. Come on, I can do five things in one day. You need to get yourself together. So me and him, is we're playing, but we're going back and forth. And I'm like, I'm not about to shrink myself or shrink my day to fit you. Just playing, right? So then the drunk uncle's like, you know what? That's exactly what I did. I minimized myself to make other people happy and it made me miserable now i'm sitting here trying to figure out how to climb out this hole so i said okay well now that you recognize the problem what are you going to do to fix it and he said well i don't know i didn't messed up this and i didn't did this and i didn't did that 
and I didn't I didn't I didn't mess up here I done messed up there I don't waste the time I could have did this I could have did that I could have could have could have could have and I was like okay well yesterday is already gone right you can't get that time back what are you gonna do today what are you gonna do different today you can't you can't fix yesterday but you can fix today and all the choices you make today will make tomorrow easier if you make the right choices, right? So don't worry about yesterday. Yesterday's a done deal. It's already done. Can't do nothing about yesterday. But you can do something about today. You can do something about tomorrow. And he sat there and he was like, you're right. Y'all, but he didn't have a plan on how to fix it, right? He didn't have a plan because he'd been wandering around in the dark for so long. He'd been addicted to these drugs and alcohol for so long. He had no clue where to start, literally. Like, and I'm serious. And this is why I'm telling people. Because at some point, y'all, we have to forgive ourselves. We have to forgive ourselves. We all made mistakes. Okay? We all made mistakes. But you can't keep letting those mistakes dictate your tomorrow you can't keep letting something you did yesterday determine what you're gonna do today and tomorrow yesterday's done you can't change yesterday but you still have a chance today right and don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow you got tomorrow to worry about tomorrow all you got to do is make sure you make all the choices today that you need to make so here's where I noticed that I was struggling, right? And I'm going to tell y'all because this is my confession because this is where the Holy Spirit was dealing with me. So y'all, I stopped posting about my journey so much. If y'all notice, right? As far as my progress, as far as me going to the gym, as far as me walking, I stopped posting about it so much because I realized that I was making other people feel uncomfortable, right? And that's not my intention, right? I don't get on here to boasting. That's not at all why I'm getting on here. I actually get on here to be encouraging. But I started getting this feedback, and it was um, from people that basically was kind of critiquing my post, right? And so I'm like... Well, dang, these are kind of people I care about. And I don't want them feeling some type of way about my post. So I'll minimize my post. But I'm going to stay consistent in what I'm doing, right? I'm going to stay consistent in my spiritual hygiene. And I say spiritual hygiene, y'all, because I have to cleanse myself daily, right? Spiritually. You have to cleanse yourself daily, okay? Spiritual hygiene. I don't know if y'all heard that term. I don't know where I heard that term. But think about spiritual hygiene. So you have to cleanse yourself daily. So one uh, uh, um, one person brought it to me that, you know, when I was showing off my progress, y'all, because this is hard work, right? When you're on a weight loss journey, it's just like trying to, it's kicking a bad habit. It's kicking a bad habit, y'all. So it's just like having to kick alcohol or having to kick some type of addiction right because eating bad is a bad habit right and I struggle with this still so I stop I minimize myself I stop posting so much because somebody said it, it, it looks like thirst traps and I was like well I'm not thirsty for nothing I don't really understand how it could look like a thirst trap like I'm trying to be encouraging you know, because there's a lot of us out here that's struggling. Y'all, I kid you not, a bunch of big girls, like, that I grew up with, they unfriended me. They unfollowed me. <laughs> like, in the beginning, when I was big with them, it was, go, Danielle, go, go. When I started going, they unfollowed me. I be getting dirty looks now. I be getting dirty looks. They feeling some type of way. And so I started shrinking myself on here, not it, letting y'all know I'm still on my journey. Y'all, I'm at the gym right now. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm at the gym right now. 
I still be at the gym. Now, I don't come in the morning all the time because one thing about me is I'm a creature of habit. So I do still make it, but it's just random times now. And I was coming five, six days a week. I am gonna admit that I'm probably down to like four. I am. I'm gonna get back to my five or six day, but I am down and that's because I'm a creature of habit. So when I don't do something, and my normal routine it kind of throws my whole little program off y'all it do i ain't even gonna lie so i gotta work on that because i don't adapt to change as quickly as i would like to so it throws my whole little program off but i still get in here i do still get in here but i notice that okay well i don't want them to feel uncomfortable so let me not post it as much let me not say something as much because i don't want my sisters to feel like I'm throwing it in their face. But I had to realize it's not a me problem, y'all. I ain't did nothing wrong to nobody. I don't even have that thought process of yang 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 boo boo. I don't even have that thought process. I literally get on here to tell y'all the struggles that I'm going through in hopes that it helps somebody else through their struggle, right? Because this world the society the way they have stuff us programmed y'all it's a struggle <laughs> right we are in spiritual warfare because of the way they're programming us the way the music the tvs everybody's thought process y'all it's a struggle right they're programming us like this on purpose right and so I am literally waking up. So this is why I'm getting on here and I'm telling y'all so other people can recognize the struggle and they can wake up. But I sat and I let a couple of people critique my post. So I started minimizing what I was telling y'all because I didn't want other people to feel uncomfortable. And I had to really pay attention to the source. I had to pay attention. No, I'm not in Colorado. I, I live in Texas now. I just come through there from time to time. Y'all know my family be out there. So I just come through there. Um, so I had to uh, pay attention to the source. And so the Holy Spirit told me, that's not a you problem. That's a them problem. Your consistency, your self-discipline, is triggering them because they don't have that self-discipline and they're mad about it right it's triggering them do not shrink yourself to accommodate other people if they have a problem they can keep unfollowing you right and i had to think about it like you're right i'm not posting a thirst trap y'all I'm posting my progress and I'm curvy. So <laughs> I'm not on here naked and I ain't pulled out the little short, y'all. If I start showing off these thick thighs, a whole bunch of people's going to unfollow me. Because let me tell y'all, with my essential oils, I done learned how to get rid of that cellulite and I done also learned how to get rid of the dark spots. You know, like when your thighs rub together and you had them th dark spots. Yeah, I done figured out how to get rid of that with them essential oils, right? So, legs is looking good. But I'm sitting here like, wait. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to have no thirst traps. I had to remember who I am, y'all. I had to remember me. I'm not on here thotting. Most people that know me know that's not even my style. Like, me and thought don't come up in the same sentence either. So I had to recognize where the source is coming from, right? And it's them, y'all. It be them. So listen, if you're doing something right, that's why they say love your haters, right? Because if they hating on you, it's because you're triggering something that they wish they were doing, right? Don't shrink yourself and don't avoid haters. Embrace them haters. I don't feel no type of way about myself. They don't have me feeling ashamed about nothing. 
The only reason that I stopped posting so much is because I didn't want them to feel some type of way. You can't make me feel no type of way. I'm so comfortable in my skin. You can't. Yeah, I didn't got in here. My hair don't be combed. I don't care. I got hair. My hair is natural. I be doing all kinds of stuff with my hair. It ain't really combed right now. I did some rollers and yeah, I have my little xanthrin gel so it be flaking. But my hair don't make me, y'all. It don't make me. So don't shrink yourself based off of other people's feelings. That's what I'm telling y'all today. Do not shrink yourself based off of other people's feelings. If they don't have the self-discipline, if they don't have the creativity, if they don't have whatever it is that you're doing that's triggering them, then they need to work on them. Don't let other people have you feeling some type of way because they really feel some type of way about themselves and you're triggering them. Because that's what most of this be. That's what most of the haters and most of this, I ain't did no wrong to nobody. In fact, I'm always running around here trying to help somebody. But I still got haters. <laughs> I still got haters. And they don't bother me. I don't care nothing about no haters. I don't. I still be trying to pray for them. I still be like, hey, let's go to lunch. They ain't bothering me. So I'm telling y'all, sit down and know who you are. I don't care what people around you are saying about you because somebody around you that has got a hardened heart from their own issues is always going to have something to say about you. And that can come in the form of your mate. That can come in the form of brothers and sisters, best friends, cousins. That can come in a bunch of different forms, right? But if you know that you are comfortable if it feels good to you now one thing my spiritual mother reminded me of when I told her about the feedback I was getting from my post she was like okay well when you post it do you feel convicted within yourself because the Holy Spirit is going to convict you he's going to convict you so if you sit there and you're thinking oh man I shouldn't have posted that then delete it before anybody else even has something to say about it. If you think that in your thought process, no, nah, I ain't going to post that, then don't post it. Right? Because that's the Holy Spirit. Follow your instincts. So if the Holy Spirit is convicting me, y'all ain't going to post that. But as far as the rest of my post and the rest of what I'm telling y'all, I'm going to tell y'all. Because one thing about me I'm understanding that people are misunderstanding the spiritual side of things. And people are thinking with limited thought processes. And they're teaching it wrong because they have heart and heart. And God's only going to give you as much as you can handle. Right? So, I'm telling y'all, do not shrink yourself to fit in. You're not supposed to fit in. We are images of the Most High. We're not going to fit in with worldly people because we're not of this world. You're going to stand out. You're going to irritate people. You're going to make people feel some type of way. They're going to try to plant them seeds to make you slow down or to make you feel like you're doing too much. They're going to do that. You got to be comfortable in knowing who you are. So when I feel like I have a message for y'all, I'm going to post it. When I feel like I want to show off my progress because this gym work is hard work, and I'm telling y'all, becoming consistent and working out, becoming consistent and eating healthy and not going to eat all that good-looking poisonous food because that's really what it is. Y'all, I had that struggle daily, right? That's really what it is. When you go and eat all them carbs and all that sugar, it's really poisoning your body, right? And your body's what hosts your soul. So when your body gets sick, what you think happens to your soul? Right? You can't think clearly. And then people that's planting these negative seeds, you start believing it. 
Mm -mm. Don't shrink yourself, y'all. Do not shrink yourself. If they can't roll with you, then you keep rolling. And let them sit there in their stagnation. Let them sit there and be overweight because they can't find the self-discipline. Don't shrink yourself. You guys keep doing you. Keep being blessed. Right? I love y'all. I'm going to keep being encouraging. I'm going to keep trying to wake up the spiritual people that I know is out there. Because I'm assigned to certain people. Right? I ain't for everybody. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to keep getting on here and giving y'all blessings. Because I know good and dang well that I ain't supposed to be shrinking myself to fit into nobody's circle. <laughs> I just have a small circle. That's just what it's going to be. But I love y'all. So y'all have a blessed day. And don't shrink yourself to fit in.